You're going to have fun, don't worry. Tonight on Celebrity Wife Swap, controversial comedian Andy Dick and actor Lorenzo Lamas. I'm going to miss you a lot. Are about to take on their most challenging role yet. This is crazy. Scope with a new celebrity husband. I had no idea that we're going in the helicopter. Oh my god! Oh. Getting ready for a lot of driving me around. I just don't want to have to raise another child. That's the girlfriend. I didn't know you were gonna be here. Sometimes Andy gets on my nerves. How will the stars go when the wives get to run things their way? I'm kind of uh, afraid of what she's going to be throwing at me. How many of these rules start with Andy? And what will happen when the wives finally reunite with their celebrity husband? He was a womanizer. He's had lots of women. But the past is over. This is your man. My name is Andy Dick. I am an actor extraordinaire. I did news radio, and the pinnacle of my career was The Andy Dick Show. This is a show I had on MTV. More product, more product. When in doubt, more product, more product, more product. Oh! Recently, I was on Dancing with the Stars. I kind of danced my way back into America's hearts. I got fame very quickly in my 20s, landed myself in rehab, and I have been to rehab 13 times. Troubled actor became my middle name. I would like to erase all the preconceived notions about me and just have it be Andy Dick, actor. This is Lena. She is my baby mama. Andy and I aren't together, but we are best friends and co-parenting all the babies. Lena lives here in Calabasas with her three daughters, Rachel, Emily, and Meg. Meg is the only daughter that's biologically mine. I've kind of adopted the other two as my daughters. My dad, he's the funniest person. Let's say you're on a business trip and you sleep with a gal who you suspect has the drip. <laughs> he always makes us laugh. I actually live in a little trailer outside. Andy's in a trailer because of his past choices. What does he do with that trailer? <laughs> <laughs> I have the best life. It's like being on vacation. <laughs> I'm currently dating a girl, Jennifer Jimenez. I met her on The Sober House. She's like crazy, but in a good way, like me. Look at me. Well, then don't dress like a hooker. I want to dress like a hooker. If I'm going to go out, I want to look good for you. Our house is the crazy house. Big <laughs> dad just popping in and Jennifer popping in and them making a, a scene. I tend to stay home with the kids, but I am a musician. I play guitar. I mean, I have a love of the arts. Poems, one dollar. Lena created something called the One Dollar Poetry Booth where we all get to type a poem for people on a little index card for one dollar. It's not about the money, it's about the free-flowing creativity. I am in charge of everything, the house and the children. Andy prefers eating all raw, which can take a lot of time to prepare. You know, raw meal usually is uncooked raw vegetables. I kind of force that on the family. Here's to your health. To your health, measers. Whoever's coming into the house better be ready to work. Domestically. They better be ready to cook, clean, and change my diaper. <laughs> my name is Lorenzo Lamas, and I was very fortunate to play the Renegade, a long-haired, Harley-riding, shirtless bounty hunter. Bobby's setting up a meeting with the FBI. Talk about your trade. You for 100 grand. My older kids did a reality show called Viva Talamas. It was more about my daughter Shane, who had won The Bachelor a couple of years prior. I live here in Beverly Hills with my beautiful wife, Shauna. Shauna is my fifth wife. We've been together almost four years, and we just celebrated our second wedding anniversary on uh, April uh, 27th. No, babe. Mm -hmm. April 30th. April 30th. <laughs> the other half of my life is with my daughters, Alexandra, 16, Victoria, 14, and Isabella, my 12-year-old. <laughs> Let's get serious with this picture. I'm like the hands-on dad. My dad always wants to know what's going on in my life, which I really like. We try to have a little bit of family time at the end of the day. Lorenzo tucks the girls in, says prayers, gives the kisses. Those are really wonderful moments where you... You build your relationship and trust. My girls are completely addicted to their mobile devices. I mean, they live on those things. I think we're on our phone a lot, but I think it's fine. I'm in a relationship where the woman that I'm married to is also a provider. I work at an egg donor agency. I also do bottle service. Shauna works hard. She furnishes the house. She buys me a Harley. It's something that I've never experienced before. I had a 
horrible reputation. I've been married four times prior to meeting Shauna. He's had six children. He has a very memorable history with women. So after we first started dating, I just didn't want people to see me as this girl that is with him for fame. So every time we do a red carpet, we walk separate. And you're in this relationship not because of what I can do for you. Heck no. <laughs> we all have our chores to make the house run smoothly. I don't think of Shauna as a stepmom. I think of her as like my real mom. Stepmoms don't really have to take care of you, but she does. Every week, I cook chicken and vegetables and portion it out for the entire week. Then they kind of just use the microwave to heat everything up. It's good though, right? Sean and I are both physical people. We like to get outside and do stuff. Our kids are the same. My advice for the wife coming in is just open to adventure and trying new things. Go with the flow. It's going to be an interesting experience. We all may learn something from it. It's the morning of the swap, and the wives are preparing to leave home for one week. I'm going to miss my family. I take care of everything, so I'm freaking out. My sweet house. It's going to be hard being away from everybody and being in a new place. It could be a disaster, or it could be a really great experience. We're going to have fun, don't oh. worry. Lena and I both want to do the swap, so people can get a glimpse of me, the person, not me, the past train wreck. Yeah. Can you go lipstick? Ugh. I'm really excited about showing America that Shauna and I have a very traditional family. This is crazy. The wives have no idea where they're going or who they'll be living with. I'm in Beverly Hills, which is out of the ordinary for me. I just don't really see much of anything. There's trees and it's beautiful, but I don't know. That's interesting. They're adventurous because I see an Airstream. Before they meet their families, Lena and Shauna have a chance to explore their new surroundings and discover which celebrity they have swapped lives with. Oh my goodness. Feels very manly, like a, a bachelor's house. Um, a lot of instruments. The furniture is very sparse, so kind of like a very museum type feel. Yes. Ooh, nice big stove. We're gonna do some cooking. Oh, it is very organized. Hmm. They're very detailed with the chores. They're probably funny. They have, like, funny little animals and things like... Things like... Oh, my God. <laughs> they have, like... They, they have a sense of humor. Oh! It's Lorenzo Lamas. God, he's hot. I, I can't figure out who this family is. I'm a little confused. I don't know if they actually live here. It's a little strange. Well, it looks like a dressing room. I don't know if they travel in it or if it's just like a stage piece. It's really interesting. Let's see who we got here. Comedian Andy Dick. Oh my gosh. Andy doesn't have the best track record, so it does concern me a little bit. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their homes. The Lamas family. I live with my husband, Lorenzo Lamas, and his three daughters. I'm their stepmother and only 26 years old. What? Hmm. He is a playboy. You are now a part of this postmodern family with an alternative lifestyle. I don't know what that can mean, especially with children. That kind of makes me a little bit leery. During the week, I work at an egg donor agency. On the weekend, I'm a bottle service girl at the local club. Now I'm embarrassed that I don't know what that means. Andy tends to sleep until late morning and then comes in the house for his breakfast green shake. I drive Andy to various meetings and appointments. He has some nerve to just be like, oh, I'm just going to wake up when I want and just let everyone else do everything for me. Please enjoy my full house, Shauna. I'm freaking out a little bit because I hope that I don't have to do her jobs because I have no idea what a bottle service girl is. So that's a little intimidating. The trailer in the front driveway on your way to the house. That's not a prop for Andy's next role. It's <laughs> it's his house. With an influx of significant others, we decided this was the best way to give Andy his space while still being close. Uh, shouldn't that time actually be spent with him making up for lost time with the children? Enjoy and have fun. Lena, I'm somewhat cautious and hesitant about Andy. I just don't want to have to raise another child. It's now time for the wives to meet their new celebrity husbands and families. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Oh, my new fam fam. Yeah, hi, I'm Lorenzo. Hey, Lorenzo, I'm Lena. Hi. So nice to meet you. Lena? Yes. It's nice to meet you. Ooh, he's hot. He is an incredible hunk. This is my daughter, Alexandra. Hello. Nice to meet Victoria you. Victoria and, and Isabella. Isabella. Where's my wife? <laughs> Your wife is with 
Andy Dick. <gasps> wow, Andy Dick, he's the funniest guy on the planet. What I know about Andy Dick is what the general public maybe knows, which is like he's on TMZ a lot, but you know, who am I to talk? I've been on TMZ too. And I know we're gonna get along. Yay! Yeah. I know it. Yeah. Lorenzo is a good looking fella. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> Love Sweet, hi. My reaction to seeing my new mom was she was very pretty and she was like very energetic and felt like we can have some fun. Well, who's your husband? My husband is Lorenzo Lamas and oh, yeah, okay. he was an action star in the 80s and the 90s. The 90s are a blur for me. There was a couple, a decade and a half where I'm like, where am I? Lena does all the cooking. Right. Get ready for a lot of driving. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dri not only driving the girls, but driving me around. She is going to have to roll up her sleeves and work, and she's not really wearing sleeves. She's wearing some kind of party gown with high heel studded boots. Coming up, our tailgate. Oh, my God, you're going to give me anxiety. I'm the wives struggle with their new celebrity husband. Shauna doesn't like to take pictures with me. That's her husband. She should be there with him. That's the girlfriend. I didn't know you were going to be here. Sometimes Andy gets on my nerves. Comedian Andy Dick and 80s heartthrob Lorenzo Lamas have agreed to swap wives for one week. I love you guys. So far, the celebrity husbands have met their new wives. Get ready for a lot of not only driving the girls, but driving me around. In Calabasas, it's time for Shauna to take Andy to his gig since he refuses to drive in LA. You're a good driver, right? But I've never been in a wreck. Please don't get into a wreck. I don't like to drive. You can't be driving and texting or driving and tweeting or driving and talking. You can't do any of that. You mind getting all the way over to the fast lane? Oh, yeah. I don't switch multiple lanes like that. What are you doing? And you are tailgating right now. Andy, oh my god, you're gonna give me anxiety. I'm gonna panic attack. But why am I driving him around all over the place? He's not even appreciative. I have a problem with that. You wanna drive? I can let you drive. Let's get the music on. Yes, please. Back in Beverly Hills, it's dinner time at the Llamas house, but Lena won't be doing any cooking tonight. So what we usually do, pull some of the food that Shauna made for the week out of there, and it Yummy just kind of makes it easy. If Shauna didn't do the meals and package them like she does, we would be like, you know, take out every night. Where do you keep the pans? We can just stick the microwave. The microwave has been banned in certain countries. It changes the molecular structure of the food, so I'm going to have to teach the girls how to use the stove. Bon appetit. And following Shauna's rules, everyone eats wherever they want and not together. It's simple, it's no fuss. It's already done for us, so it's just kind of the way we do it. Mr. Andy, yeah! Back in L.A., Andy has been dropped off by Shauna and is starting his act at the comedy club. A very good friend of mine who says, Andy, don't even talk about your sordid past. We all know. We can Google it. <laughs> My stand-up show is actually not easy. That's why I live in the trailer. So I can concentrate on my work. We used to go into my Airstream trailer, which was my dressing room at the time. Now I live in it, by the way. <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> With Andy still on stage, Shauna is getting his girls off to bed. Does your dad come to like, regroup after the day and say, how was your day? Have sweet dreams. It'd be nice to have dad just with us alone sometimes. We usually we do prayers and we do like a kind of a recap of the day and just sounds nice. I feel bad that Andy doesn't give the girls that one on one that they deserve. It's really sad for, for all parties involved. It's 9 p.m. in Beverly Hills and Lorenzo is relaxing at home. I've never felt that I should prevent my wife from making money because she wants a career and I completely understand that. But Lena's night is just getting started at Shauna's second job, a bottle service girl at one of L.A.'s hottest clubs. No, I don't even know what bottle service is. What is it? We cater to a high-end clientele that comes in a club. They don't want to be at the bar waiting for drinks. Okay. In fact, there's a table right over there. Hello, welcome. Hi. Do you know what you guys want to drink? Or can I offer you a lovely rosé? I mean... Shauna is one of my best bottle service girls. It's a girl that clean up the sleep, no experience. I knew it was going to be a little challenging. Okay, so oh, hold it up, hold it up. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Four in the morning is easy, but for me, I'm 38 years old with four kids. I'd be snuggling with my babies, not sweating, and have alcohol all over me. It's the second 
day of his swap. In the Beverly Hills, hands-on dad Lorenzo is making the girls' lunches before school. Andy doesn't help out in the mornings. He usually sleeps till about 11. So you do all the... That's right. I was surprised to find out that she doesn't have any help at home. I mean, absolutely no help at all. Like, what does Andy do? Just go over joke material? Everybody have their lunch? Yeah. Bye. 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 I know it's kind of hard for my dad because he has such a big, busy schedule. He chooses to be a really great dad because I hate taking the bus like I'd rather walk. After dropping Andy's kids off at school while he sleeps, Shauna comes home to Andy laying by the pool, and she still has to make his healthy green shake. And here's to your health. Oh, your health. I try to make everybody eat a green shake a day because it's better than a vitamin. I try to make it yummy, but if it's not, drink it anyways. I don't know about that. After a busy morning of working Shauna's day job as an egg donor consultant... I have to let you know that the list of questions are awkward and very personal. Lorenzo is surprising Lena with an afternoon bike ride. Have you ever been on a motorcycle before? I have not. I've only had one major wreck. <laughs> I always wanted to ride on the back of a motorcycle, especially with a super hunk. Lena did not feel nervous on the bike at all. She's got adventure in her soul that needs to be explored. No, I fly helicopters, right? I thought this was the adventure. It's only part of it. How do you like it? Love it. Very good. Is that Dodger Stadium? Yes, it is. That's what we were going to show you. I wanted to be a surprise. Uh -oh. I'm still acting, but the other half of my life is flying helicopters, and I, I want to teach flying. It's just a lot more fun. I had no idea we were going to go on such an adventure today, but it's a risky endeavor. Lorenzo has three girls and a beautiful wife, so let's err on the side of safety. Yeah, we did it! Shauna is back from picking the girls up from school, and while Andy works out, it's time to prep his meal. Raw lasagna. I did what I could with the raw meal. I mean, I just tried to throw it all together and make it look as much like a lasagna that I could. I think it's time for the green shake dressing. It looks like a lasagna. Sort of. <laughs> After putting together a more traditional meal for the girls, the family gets an unexpected visitor. Knock, knock. Andy's girlfriend, Jen. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm Jen. Yeah. I'm the girlfriend. Hey, hey. I'm glad and I'm you're the wife. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm the wife right now. Yes. 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 Yeah. We're going out to eat, I thought. What is that? It's lasagna. Can you tell? Tonight I was under the impression that we were going out to dinner. Sometimes that stuff with Andy when he changes things without telling me gets on my nerves. I didn't know you we were going to be here. I didn't know he was going to get a new wife. I didn't know. You're early. I tried to saying. tell you. I did tell you. You just don't remember. How did you remember? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. What do you call it? That is, that's a little bland. What did you, this you is not, This isn't right. What is well, it? There's something weird on it. I wanted to <laughs> incorporate your favorite green smoothie, so yeah. I used your favorite green smoothie and made it into a marinade. Jen hates my green shake to the point one time I think she threw up. Wait, is that the there? shake that has grass? Everything yes. smells like they cannot I, have grass out of anything. You're, 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 you're not eating the shake. I eat the shake. I'm apparently eating the shake. I don't like green shake. I shake you anything I said. Jennifer and Dad are always crazy when they're together, but it was funny watching Shauna react to it because we're used to it. It's not your fault. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It's something he promised. I said, I made her say You promised me. One time, I told you, I told you, eat your food, and if you have homework, you have homework. That's part of her charm. We'll get mad at each other, or we'll be over it, like, within hours. I'm dating a mom. Don't make a big deal out of it. Thanks for dinner. I don't know who makes who crazier, but I'm assuming it's Andy, because he seems to instigate the craziness. <laughs> Back in Beverly Hills, the Lamas girls have been on their phones for the past hour. I love my cell phone. I live off of my cell phone. I do everything, like literally everything on my cell phone. Izzy will ask me to like something. I was there when you took the picture. Kids are just too plugged in these days. I noticed that the girls are spending a lot of time on their cell phones. I want them to see that there's more in life than being on their electronics. Back in Calabasas, Andy and Jen have retreated to the trailer, which gives Shauna some alone time with the girls. I love them the way he is. Yeah, I love the craziness. Okay, but do you do you wish that he was living in the house by now, or? I mean, if he wants to live in the house. I mean, maybe if we had some more quality time together, because he likes to go in the trailer with 
Jennifer a lot. Dad likes to go out all the time. I would love for him to to just be with us more. Yeah. Does he ever invite you guys into the trailer so you guys can all hang out? Or is that like his space? That's his space. Finally, I get to do the rule change. So I'd like to see Andy making memories that will last forever. Back in Beverly Hills, Lorenzo is taking Lena to a premiere event, complete with a red carpet. <laughs> I can't wait to walk down the red carpet on Lorenzo's arm. <laughs> Lorenzo's friend Dee Snyder, lead singer of Twisted Sister, is hosting the event. Congratulations, man. This is Lena. So I want to clue you in on something. Jonna doesn't like to take pictures with me because she doesn't want to be just, you know, Lorenzo Lamas' wife. Yes. So what we do is I do the red carpet, I take the pictures, and then she does it. We just do it separately. Okay. No matter what Andy and I go through, I stand by him. I know that Lorenzo would love to have Shauna by his side, representing their relationship and the love that they have for one another. My wife can't stand to take pictures with me in public, and I don't blame her, based on my choices in the past. But, you know, that's a very difficult thing for me. You know, it makes me feel bad. Andy Dick and Lorenzo Lamas have swapped wives for one week. And for the past few days, the wives have been living under the house rules. Don't switch multiple lanes like that. What are you doing? Oh, my God. You're going to give me anxiety. I'm having a panic attack. The wives now get to change the rules and run the households their way. My overall focus is to give Andy more accountability. We really need to start this rebuilding of the relationships. The day has come. My rules will contribute to the family by taking Lorenzo out of his comfort zone. It's time for my rules. I'm a little apprehensive about it because I introduced her to a bunch of new things. I'm kind of uh, afraid of what she's going to be throwing at me. I can't imagine Shauna having any kind of new rules that would throw me off. Unless she wants me to become a pastry chef. Lena does everything around the house, so Andy has to cook and clean. What am I, Betty Crocker? I'm in a house full of ladies, and now I'm going to be wearing the little apron? I think it's good that Andy gets a taste of what Mom does every day. Hey, who signed up for this? You did. <laughs> so, the first rule, we are not going to have any more rushed meals. I can barely get them to the table for 20 minutes to eat. Making a nutritious meal is faster than you think. The next rule is no microwave. No, please. No. Can we please not get rid of the microwave? How are we going to make popcorn? How are we going to eat things? Out of the house, we're throwing it away. Uh, you know, I went into a little bit of a panic. The next rule is Andy takes responsibility, so you'll be driving. Hope we don't get in the wreck. How many of these rules start with Andy? <laughs> you have a beautiful family, three daughters and a wife, and I know they want you to stick around. So, Lorenzo, I'm going to take you out of your comfort zone with my new rule. We are going to do an activity which is a little toned down, and you're going to see that we can have incredible adventures in a safer way. How about flying a motorcycle is very safe? My rule is to find other ways for you to express yourself that aren't so dangerous. It's really nice that you've decided to be more a part of the girl's life, but we want to make up for the time that's been lost. So I want to do something that's really fun with everyone so that we can create new memories with the girls. I like that one. I can go along with that. Okay. My last rule is we are going to have more creativity and less electronics. So you're going to hand in your cell phones. I text, is I play my phone. Call people, I go on Instagram. If I don't have my phone, I will not live. Lena, I'm down with this program. I'm telling you, I've been trying to get these phones away from these kids for months. Mom, Dad, you're on Instagram more than I am. Hand them in. What? Izzy, I'm a little worried about her. She's going to go crazy. I just reached 900 followers on Instagram. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Wait. I never would have gotten those phones away from my daughters. Thank you, Izzy. 
The next rule is dad needs to move back into the house. We need to get the love shack moved somewhere else so that you can spend even more time with the family. I'm very attached to that trailer. I've had that trailer for over 20 years. I like living with Shauna. I like how she's trying to have Andy be with us more and not just stay in his little shack. It's the start of Shauna's new rules. And first up, it's time for Andy to get rid of his beloved love shack and move back in the house to spend more time with his family. I like my privacy, so we will see how that works. Here, this one just has clothes. I remember when he used to live with us, and then when he had to move out, I was like, what is going on here? And so I'm happy that we might all live together again. <laughs> He's going to be forced to be with us at all times if he doesn't have that trailer to hide out in. It'll be nice. The girls are so excited that their dad is going to be in their life. They're ecstatic. My tin can is my home. <laughs> Sorry. It's a little sad. Ow. I'm really excited that I could be a part of this and helping to bring their family back together. Look how much space you have. I can get a car. It'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I can get a car and live in that. In Calabasas, Andy has moved back in the house and has to follow Shauna's rule to clean the house. Have your gloves? Uh -huh. Even though he's resistant, she tries to lighten the mood with the perfect outfit. Look, I picked it out just for you. Now, how does this even work? This is not right. That's not, that's not even sanitary. <laughs> <You're just trying. laughs> Lena does so much, and maybe if he walks a day in her shoes, he'll be much more compassionate and supportive. Dust the mantle. That's funny, watching him clean. <laughs> In Los Angeles, Lena's next rule has thrill seeker Lorenzo outside for an activity that her and Andy do, which is a little less dangerous. All week we've been doing your fun adventures. My adventure is we're going to be writing spontaneous poems for a dollar. Really? Poetry is not in my wheelhouse. I can't imagine how embarrassing this is going to be. Poems, one dollar. I'll take a poem for a dollar. Oh, wonderful. What's your name? I'm Desiree. Desiree, a beauty so deep. Desiree, my fantasy. That was amazing. You're a natural. You spelled my name wrong. I'm game for almost anything, but writing poetry on a street corner to strangers was really hard to do. I think I'm going to stick to acting and flying helicopters. Following Shauna's next rule, it's Andy's turn to be the chauffeur and drive the girls to their fun family activity. Okay, here we go. AJ, hey you're a very good driver. Oh, thanks. Thanks for driving, Daddy. Andy's a good driver, but he was used to having everything done for him. He's kind of spoiled, I must say. Anything for my ladies. The Lamas girls have been without their phones for the past eight hours, but Lena has a plan to show them an alternate activity to always being plugged in. You guys are very artistic. Thank you. So Lena had an idea of having a little arts and crafts time, and I really appreciate that. I really love art, and it brought us together. I think that was really cool of her. I want to draw a sunset. So draw some mountains, okay? And then draw however you feel a sunset would look like. Even though Lena took my and my sister's phones away, it was a really good experience to just kind of get close and kind of like share your inspiration and your creativity and have fun. I love your art. Doing art together, spending quality time, wouldn't have been possible with all that fun time. Under Shauna's new rules, Andy has to create new memories with his daughters. And the first one is to have some fun at a trampoline funhouse. The only rule I like is the rule about making new memories and having fun. I feel like a kid. It's going to be fun. Welcome to Scotland. Wow. Oh, my God. Hey. On the yellow part. Oh my gosh. Watching the girls interacting with Andy and how happy they are, it's really amazing to see. And, and I think Andy's having fun too, playing with the girls. And I hope that this is something that will continue once I leave because all the girls really want is just more time with Andy. Oh my God. <laughs> Shauna. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I feel sick. Even though dad was like throwing up. <laughs> still was jumping all over the place and still trying to bring his exciting energy in, which I loved, because that's just how daddy is. Shauna has brought a camera to capture the memorable afternoon. I loved this experience because it brought all of us closer. I'm learning from Shauna's new rules how much I really wanted Andy to spend time with us. I never would think about it, and now that he did start, I don't want it to stop. 
Back in Beverly Hills, after having a great afternoon painting, it's time for the Lamas family to get serious and get rid of their microwave. They made the best frozen dinners ever. And in Calabasas, Shauna has some new photos to show the family. Okay, so here's the pictures that I chose from our day yesterday. I thought it would be a really nice gesture to take some of those photos and put them on the mantle. Come see, new memory! Oh, that was right before I threw up. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> this is just the beginning, and hopefully... Soon we'll have the whole mantle filled with pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, I promise I'll spend more time with you guys. The whole experience has been emotional because I got to see that my girls actually want to spend more time with me. I think the week was a success. I had a great I time. Understand. Thank you Thank so you. much. You're Thank so you. sweet. Ooh, love you. So Big family mm -hmm. hug. Mm -hmm. Beverly Hills, Lena is showing the Lamas family that making dinner is possible without using a microwave. Look at that. This is time. Wow. Want to smell it? Whoa. All the girls got involved helping with chopping and slicing and dicing and sauteing, and it went smooth. This is really fun. I'm glad you like it. I have enjoyed cooking. I think it's better because even the house smells good. Dinner is served. Who made what? We all worked as a team. You know what was nice? Was not eating out of a Tupperware container. We actually sat down to a dinner table and had a conversation. I enjoyed the time together. Are there any more potatoes? Yay, they want seconds. Woohoo! It was just a real good meal. So I don't think we'll miss the microwave that much. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. After a long week, the swap is finally over, and Shauna and Lena are prepping to reunite with their loved ones. What I'm going to bring back to my family is a bigger sense of adventure, getting out of the house. I feel like the family got a better sense of family time, and maybe Andy can just make more of an effort to be proactive and to help more around the house. So say your goodbyes. Wild one. If anybody could handle a wild card, it's my wife. I hope that Lena approves of our parenting. I mean, I'm doing the best I can, you know? There they are. Hello! I miss you so much. Hi. 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 Nice to see you. Yeah, it's awesome. The couples need to discuss their experiences before returning home. Get in there. Good to meet you, Lorenzo. Hi, Lena. Hi. Lena. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. She is absolutely delightful. Isn't Lena the best? Yeah. I don't know how you do it. I was really a little shocked when I read the manual. You're driving the girls all these different places, and you drive Andy, and I'm like, how do you find time to do it? And why isn't Andy taking more initiative to try and help you? Yes. I'm so used to being driven around, so I had her drive me all over the place. How was that? It was a challenge at first because Andy is very particular. He wants me to drive a certain way. I don't get in the far left lane. Oh, you're a backseat driver. And she's not the best driver. Oh, I she's a very good driver. She was switching multiple lanes. You don't do things you like gotta that. You got to keep moving out there. You get hit. He didn't know where we were going. I don't. I've been to this place. So you throw her under the bus for the driving habits? <laughs> Dude, get a GPS in your car. Lorenzo was a gentleman. He took me out for a special night. We went to a red carpet event. Lena was shocked uh, that we did something that's sort of different on the red carpet. When we used to go out together, you would welcome me into all of the photos. You were happy to be seen with me. And I had to stand... There's a lot of them out there, of her and I. I had to stand aside because normally Lorenzo, when he's on the red carpet, they don't take photos together. What? I give because being seen with me gives her a bad name. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, we're photographed together. She just becomes a part of yeah. me. Shauna is concerned about the image and concerned about being connected with Lorenzo. Doesn't want to be seen with bad boy Lorenzo Mamas. Yes, he he was a womanizer. 
That would hurt my feelings, but I wouldn't say anything. This is difficult for me because she's my woman. You know, I want her right here. You know, I'm proud of her. I want to show her off. Yeah. Shauna, the, the past is over. This is your man. And it's, it's a respectful thing to be there for him. Speaking for him would probably mean a lot to him if you just grabbed onto him, <laughs> put your arm around him, and just walked down that red carpet like the proud couple that you are. Doesn't matter what anybody thinks. This is the real thing that you guys have. <laughs> takes pictures with me anyway. What? Doesn't matter what anybody thinks. This is the real thing that you guys have. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Daddy. I'm sorry I didn't hurt your feelings. I didn't know that it was something that would hurt him, I guess. Well, he wouldn't say it. I just, I've always had to take care of myself. I felt like I needed to protect that. And I didn't realize that in turn, I was basically pushing him away and saying, you're not worthy. I don't want to punish him for his past, but I also don't want to like be attached to it for people to say, oh, you're another one of those girls. Any stereotype that people have of you is completely wrong. You are giving to this family. You contribute to Lorenzo. You are there for his daughters. I think this is, this is the relationship that's going to last. Thank you. You know, Lena shared some things with me that I, I you know, it, it touched me a little bit, and like I know it's what? difficult. Well, that you don't spend a lot of time in the house. She took care of that. I wanted to be really a part of the family, so I had him get rid of the trailer, and yes. Really? You got rid of it? Yeah. We went outside, the, and it was being hauled off. You know, it, you can't really bond when you have all these outside distractions. I see that it's a good thing, because I do want you to be more a part of the family and spend more time with us. I didn't realize how much they like me there. I always got the sense that they, I was a, a hassle. He really put their needs before his own, and they, it really meant so much to them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Lena got uh, our family to sit down for dinner. So not only did she get the kids to sit down at, at the dinner table, but she got the cell phones taken away. Oh, my God. That's the one area I felt like we could um, work on in our house. And we replaced it with doing art projects. That's something that brings you together as a yes. family, you know. I, I think we need to try to do a little bit more, like, face-to-face -face time. Yeah. You know, get them off those uh, mobile devices. The main thing I am taking away from this whole experience is for me to spend more time with my kids. Just be there for them. I can see that. It's not hard. What I got out of this experience is how precious family is. I love and appreciate my kids so much and... I'm sorry. <laughs> I realize how much I appreciate you and all you do and the kids do too. Thank you. Um, as far as what I took away from it, to be more accepting of Lorenzo, I adore him and I never want him to feel like I'm not completely in it with him. We're going to make more of an effort to shut down the electronics and connect more. Well, I'm so happy I finally got to meet you. Me too. Thanks for that beautiful experience. Thank you. With the meeting over, the wives can finally return home. Most of the changes that Lena made were constructive ones. I just don't know if we can live without a microwave. <laughs> So you're going to be cooking and cleaning and driving and... Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. for you. I'm just glad that Sean is home. I'm so lucky and so glad that you're in my life. Yes. <laughs> this experience just makes us value what we have together and as a family with the girls. Mom's home. This swap was a challenge and an adventure, and I think one time was, was good for me. I'm happy that I'm out of the doghouse and back in the house house. Yay, it's awesome. Yeah. Celebrity Wife Swap, TV personality downtown Julie Brown, and WNBA All-Star and Olympic gold medalist Lisa Leslie trade lives for one week. So quiet here. And sparks fly when the celebrity wives finally meet face to face. Lisa does not lose. She just needs to win. Oh, Lord.